the Crazed Spartan. What's up guys, Crazed here, and today I want to talk to you a little bit about the customization of Halo. It's history, where we're at, and kind of where I would love to see it go in the future. As we've got a lot of stuff going on, and we have no news as for Halo 6 as a time of writing, uh, doing this, so we'll go from there. On to Halo CE. Let's go ahead and jump right into the beginning. Customization was extremely simple. You could choose a color, and that's it. <laughs> that's all you could do. Uh, and, and unless you were in a custom game or a free-for-all match, you never saw this. It was always red versus blue, which is fine. You know, it was just the absolute beginning. Well, on to Halo 2. You actually were allowed to choose an Elite, which has not been back for a long time. Since Halo Reach, we have not seen Elites as a playable character. <laughs> it's kind of sad, but uh, maybe in the future. Maybe, because I think people want that. Alright, in Halo 2, you are able to choose some colors. I do not have a copy of the original Halo 2 anymore, um, so I'm not sure, but I can think that you were able to choose emblems and stuff like that as well. Um, but overall, the customization options were fairly simple uh, at that point. And not a whole lot there, to be honest. Um, just a few things, just to make it a little bit more interesting, but that's about it. Now, Halo 2 Anniversary is actually really copied a lot off of the original Halo 2. You are able to choose a couple different Spartan models, um, and that's not a whole lot. And then, of course, uh, the Elites as well. It's kind of a shame, kind of a shame, but I don't think they had the time to really, really do all the uh, fine touches to Halo 2 Anniversary that we would have loved to have seen. But still, not a whole lot here, uh, but it's still, it's better than Halo CE, and uh, it's been advancing, been advancing. I so say you are able to pick a lot more colors, which is really nice. Uh, Halo 2, the original, did not have that many options. But there you go. Now on to Halo 3. Now Halo 3, the original, I know you were able to customize your Spartan a lot more. This is where the customization really starts to take form. You were able to choose a different helmet, a different shoulder pieces, you were able to choose a different chest piece. And if you were really lucky, you had the special bungee armor piece where you could have a flaming helmet. And that was pretty awesome at the time. And that was really awesome. You could pick different colors, different emblems, um, really good stuff there to have. Um, and of course, you also could pick as an elite. Again, again, was not a big fan of playing as an elite, but I know a lot of people love them out there. So I really hope that they do return in some form in the next Halo game. And of course, a lot of different colors as well really kind of uh, the real beginnings of customization options the best part is is that some of the stuff you could only unlock via achievements which is really awesome that you had stuff you could only unlock if you did certain things in the game uh, if you wanted that Hayabusa achievement or the Hayabusa armor you had to get a thousand achievement points and that was the only way to get it or on some of the other stuff if you wanted to do that um, you had to get certain things, a complete legendary. Uh, it was really awesome that you had to do stuff in order to get things. That way, when you saw it on the battlefield, you saw it on the battlefield, you know that person earned it, you, he, they achieved it, and that was awesome to see. And hopefully, hopefully in the future, we're going to see that again. So, something to think about, 343. Now on to Halo Reach. Now, Halo Reach, in my opinion, is the pinnacle of customization options for your Spartan. Now, this is what I really liked about Halo Reach. You could go into each of these different variants, which is really easy to find. You had different variants of each helmet, you had different variants of uh, chest pieces, uh, shoulder pieces, knee pieces. Uh, you had different variants of stuff you can put on your arms, and, and even a... a bag that you carry on the side like an extra bag for ammo or stuff like that I mean just a lot of stuff and I think this could be expanded upon easily however uh, as of right now I think it is by far the best uh, options there for the uh, customizations now 
Uh, that being said, I think it could have used a little bit more of stuff that you could only unlock via achievements or completing the game on Legendary or stuff like that. Absolutely, I think that needed to happen. Um, I, it did, you know, a little bit. I can't remember what was unlocked with what, but there was stuff that you cannot get unless you do certain things. And that's what really needs to happen. I think it would be really awesome is that they really tied into certain things like uh, getting, uh, like, let's say a, uh, a wheelman helmet. I'm just throwing it out there. I don't think there is a wheelman helmet, but I'm going to throw it out there. Uh, basically, you have to get like so many splatters, and then after that, you have to get so many uh, kills as a gunner, and, and so many assists as a driver, and stuff like that, before you can unlock this type of helmet. And then that type of thing versus uh, some of the stuff that's just given randomly uh, is so much more uh, satisfying. It really, really is. Because at the end of the day, you really know that you earn that piece of armor and it's really fun and awesome to show because people will also see it and they'll go, yeah, I remember that. That was awesome. I remember doing that and, and getting that. Or, or they see it, such as in Halo Reach, they had armor effects, which really should return, I think, because I thought those were actually pretty cool. Armor effects... Uh, such as the inclement weather, which basically means you had lightning effects around your body, and when you got shot, you had like a quick little cloud burst type of thing. Or pestilence, which you were like uh, infected mode. It was kind of cool, because uh, when you died, you left, instead of blood on the floor, you left a green splatter. And that is like the cool little things for customizations that really, really should return to Halo, because I think that was just really well done I think Reach did a great job I think it can be improved on still but of course with even more options and stuff like that now, how about that right there the uh, old robotic arm remember that that was fun <laughs> seeing people run around with the robotic arm uh, that was crazy I still why why doesn't Dr. Halsey have a robotic arm uh, just throwing that out there but Hello Reach is in my opinion like the best the best um, customization options. You could customize your voices uh, for firefight, uh, of course the utility stuff. I mean you could customize so much. Your Spartan was your Spartan. It wasn't anybody else's. And that's why I really love Halo Reach as for customization. And hopefully, hopefully we'll see something similar in the future. And one of the, it's so sad to say, but compare the UI to Halo 5. Halo Reach's UI for customization and Halo 5's UI. It is night and day. It is so easy to find stuff in Halo Reach. Halo 5, I'm looking for stuff. I'm got to, it's like I want this particular helmet and I gotta search it and search it and search it and just randomly come across it. Ugh, it's such a pain, such a pain. But that is Halo Reach's uh, customization, which is incredibly fun, incredibly easy to use, uh, and really where I think they need to set the bar and even hopefully exceed in the future. Now on to Halo 4. Halo 4's options were a little bit of a step back from Halo Reach. Uh, you were allowed to like get your helmet, your chest piece, left shoulder, right shoulder, uh, your forearms, you could do that, of course your visor and um, legs and that was about it there for uh, Halo Reach customization of course you had a lot more options via your um, emblems and stuff like that however however um, I believe it was a step back from Halo Reach but they did do some things that were really nice some of the stuff you could only unlock via achievements uh, or via accommodations which was really nice because that way again this is what I really like about that stuff is that you earned it and then people see I still have stuff locked um, you have earned it and that's uh, when you showcase it off you know people are gonna go wow that dude earned that you know so if you got the plasma pistol thing and you earn that piece I can't remember which armor sets unlocked that it's like the plasma pistol kill combination it's part of the covenant mastery combination and if you got that, it unlocks something. I can't remember what. But man, if you did that, that's awesome. That is an incredibly good job. 
because that is a lot of work. But there is quite a few options. Uh, they did do that. The UI, I think, it was also a step back in some ways. As I think uh, it could have been done a little bit better. I think Halo Reaches did it really well. Um, but overall, though, uh, good job on Halo 4. Uh, I think it could have been much better, but I don't think it was too bad. Uh, so it had that for it. Um, really fun game, of course. I played a lot of Halo 4 back in the day. Uh, I still do. I still do, actually. And, of course, you could customize your colors and stuff like that. But that's Halo 4 in a nutshell. And now on to Halo 5. As you can see, the customization options really went back. You have a helmet, you have a chest piece or armor set, and a visor. And that's pretty much it. Uh, talk about a step backwards. Even Halo 3 had more options. I mean, there's more armor sets by far. They are. But a lot of them are just reskinned uh, paint jobs on old armor sets. It's like you get one and you kind of got them all. It's just like, well, instead of having uh, stripes on this side, I'm going to have stripes on the other side. And it just, it really did not offer a whole lot of uniqueness, I think, uh, in that. And plus, it is so hard to find them. It's like if I wanted to find the Mjolnir armor sets, I had to go and search the entire thing, find it, and then if I didn't like that color scheme, I had to go and continue to search. It's like I'm still searching for these things. I mean, it's crazy. I mean, there is a lot of options. Absolutely, there is a lot of options. However, most of them seem to be very generic, uh, kind of um, cut and paste, and we just different colors. And that's, that's about it. Uh, Halo 5's customization options are pretty lacking, in my opinion. Uh, the good thing is, is that they did offer a lot of um, weapon skins. But I didn't cover that here, because that's not your Spartan. There is a lot of weapon skins. Um, but still, I don't know. Halo 5's customizations is definitely not where I would like to see it in the future. Now, where would I love to see it? Obviously, if you've listened to this whole video, you kind of understand that I love to see stuff that is earned. This random number generator stuff just does not work for me. I don't really care for it too much. Uh, I can understand it uh, in a business sense. However, when it's, for me, I love to have stuff that I've earned. One of the things that you've earned is the Helio scroll. Or, I always say that wrong. The, the Helios armor, uh, kind of that one right there. It's just, you've earned that. The, diff the only reason that you, you can, or the only way you can earn it is you go and play the entire campaign on the Master Chief Collection, uh, Halo CE, all the way through all of them, Halo 4, on Legendary, and complete them all. And then you get the Helios Skull um, armor set. However, it's also in the random num generator. So except for the beta, in the beta it was actually pretty cool. It was pretty, uh, pretty unique because it was in there. Um, not everybody had it. And when you saw it, it was like, yeah, that was pretty cool. And everybody was like, man, I want to go get that. And what do they do? They put it in the random number generator. <sighs> I don't know. And then they make up the, these, I don't know what the helmet is. That, that is the ugliest helmet that was just there. Ugh, what were they thinking? And some of these helmets are just, I don't know what they were thinking. It just ugh, looks like a bug or a mantis or something. <laughs> it just does. I'm sorry. It's, it's there's, there's like tons of options again uh, as you go through them, but they're like just, as you can see here, different variants, different colors on the helmet. It's not very unique. Not very unique. I don't really care for this. I, I do like this look, though. I think that's a pretty cool little look. But it's a legendary, and I don't know. I don't know. As for the future, though, what I really want to see is I want to see something more similar to Halo Reach, where you got to earn stuff. Um, and there's a lot of different options. Uh, UI-wise, Halo Reach is by far the best. Uh, I would love to see less armor pieces less believe it or not less armor stuff and just make them more unique make them really 
be able to customize everything. Customize your shoulders, your arms, uh, your chest piece, your helmet, uh, your legs, your knees, uh, even your feet, and of course your forearms. If you wanted to throw on a little pad thing again like you did in Halo Reach, that would be awesome and make some of it only unlockable by achievements. If, especially achievements from past games. If you've got the like a super special thing like uh, co-op on Legendary, four-player co-op Legendary on Halo 5, if you got that, that if there was an achievement for that, if there was an achievement for that, you were awesome and uh, that should be like a really, really good armor piece or even armor set. So something to think about there, 343. Uh, so it just there's just so much stuff in Halo 5. It's just so generic though. And that's that's my issue with Halo 5, and it's all given by random. All of it given by random, except for the very few pieces that you have to buy if you want them, uh, such as the uh, um, HCS stuff. You know, unless you really want that stuff. Yeah, you know, it's just, it's so random, so random, and it's not all that unique. It doesn't feel unique. I've never felt like it, the Spartans were unique in Halo 5, but there you go. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick little history, quick little run through. Well, I say quick, but it's not so quick of our customization options in Halo 5 or in our past as well, and just really enjoyed the video. And please just go ahead and give it a like, comment, and subscribe. What would you like in the future of Halo for customizations? What would you like to see? It's like something crazy, something simple. And I think Halo 5 definitely could do better. Uh, thanks, guys. This is crazed. I'm out of here.